Okay, I just want to have a quick chat about the importance of self-esteem. I think it's something, like a lot of things, that doesn't necessarily get addressed enough through school. And maybe busy parents don't necessarily talk about this sort of stuff enough with their, their children a lot of the time. Um, and it's something that we all need to take responsibility for developing in ourselves. It's not something that's just going to improve uh, by letting things happen to you. Self-esteem is something you need to work on every day. Once you work on it and you improve it, your confidence will improve. You'll then um, take more chances, more positive chances. You'll have more success. You'll be more likely to rebound from any failures and you will have failures. If you're not having failures in your life, then you're not trying hard enough. Um, so self-esteem is really, really important. Um, the way to build it up, or one of the ways to build it up, is to practice positive habits daily. So even little things such as making your bed first thing in the morning can just give you that feeling that you're on top of things to start the day. Getting a pint of water down you, doing a few exercises, reading, all these positive things just build up your self-esteem and your confidence. Um, simple things when you're driving a car don't allow someone to irritate you. Someone cuts you up and you start going mad and swearing and shouting at them, beeping the horn. It just makes you feel negative inside. It makes you feel, when you think about it afterwards, you feel small that you bothered to rise to that, you know? Someone cuts you up, leave them to it, get on with it. You're, you're more important than that. Let them go, you know, rise above it, stay calm, be the person that you want to be, basically. Um, little things like that will just improve your self-esteem. And like I say, if you give in to that kind of animalistic side in yourself, then it, it niggles away at you and you, you realise that you, did, you made the wrong decision and it kind of damages your self-esteem. Okay, so practising, being mindful, being conscious each day of the way you're doing things, okay? The way you speak to people. If you get angry and react to someone, again, that's going to kind of damage your self-esteem. If you, if you feel strong, you hold yourself up hold yourself up straight, keep your chest out and your head up, speak nice and clearly, confidently. It's not gonna, you're not gonna get it right every time. You're, you're, gonna, you're gonna make mistakes, you're gonna have failures. Of course, you are the most successful people, fail regularly. You know, the most successful people say that if you're not failing regularly, then you're not trying hard enough. The point is when you do fail, you, have the gro you, you make sure you have a growth mindset and you take from that whatever lesson you can to improve, to be better next time. Don't compare yourself to other people, compare yourself to who you were yesterday. So just try to be the better person every day that you possibly can be. Write things down, keep a journal, write things at the end of the day that you tried that didn't go so well, that did go so well, how can you do better next time, how can you learn and grow from that. It's about playing the slow game to a certain extent. It's like um, Gary Vaynerchuk says, a guy, you check him out on YouTube, he's a really good motivational speaker. He's always talking about how impatient people are. You have to be patient, things aren't going to change overnight for you. Put the work in now, put the effort in now, and it will accumulate over time, and you will slowly get towards being the person that you want to be, and you'll have a happier life.